Hi, I'm Edie. I'm Judy. And, and together, together we're the, the Rainbow, Rainbow Grannies. Grannies. Yay! Yay! We're here every Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time for live on YouTube with the Rainbow Grannies. We're just jumping off of live on TikTok with the Rainbow Grannies that we do 8 o'clock every Saturday and Sunday come as we can. So Edie's now letting all the TikTok folks know to come on over to YouTube with us. And we'll see how the conversation continues. What is it going to be the topic today? We never know. We never I know. know. I don't know what we're going to talk about. Oh, wait. Whew. Yeah. That's right. That's right. She said I was five. Yeah, you're five years old. I'm five years old. Five years old. Anyway. So... Yeah, so we were we were talking about um, soap operas and all the soap operas we watched with our grandparents, you know, when we were growing up. And now I'm trying to think, well, what would be the um, what would be the, the, the queer soap operas we should be watching now? Do they have any queer soap operas? Because we sure would like to watch them, I guess, if they did. You know, it yeah. seems like nowadays though, there's so many um, shows that just throw in like a a cousin or an uncle or whatever that's that's right. gay and and so they're right. on every TV show now, you right. know. So I guess it's nice that they're like you know a side character, but we have yet to see if it's just you know because it's always just on the gay station to see the gay. Movie. Sometimes it's a little over the top, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody got to have uh, chaps with their ass cheeks out. <laughs> oh, you make queer folks. That was a good one. <laughs> I did like that. That that was pretty. That was a lot of fun. That, that was, was a lot of fun. But we, what we were talking about over there was um, uh, remembering all the old soap operas and how you know our grandparents would always tell us like to um, to make to, sure to, to, all the kids had to leave the room, go take your nap, go play outside. If you want water, go get it from the hose. From the That's hose. right, because <laughs> Luke and Laura was getting ready to get busy, and, and so was, you know, General Hospital or whatever, you know. And Victor and Nicole, what are they going to oh do my now? God. They get Victor and again? Nicole, how many times? How many times? Between, you know what, Victor and N Nicole, well, for one, she started out as a stripper, okay? She was Nikki. She was a stripper. She married Victor. And then later on, she married Jack Abbott. Mm -hmm. And then she married Victor back again. And mm -hmm. then she married Jack Abbott again. And then, I mean, it was an unbelievable. I just wonder, you know, like, do you get new sheets every time you change? Every time you, I mean, how many times can you jump in and out of that? You know? <laughs> or, like, did Victor miss it that much that he was just like, how to have it back? He just had to marry her again. Or, or did he just need to get him away from Jack Abbott? Yeah, 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 you know. Is I it mean, that Victor and Jack Abbott really wanted each other, and so they just put Nikki in the middle? This is true. They would probably had a good time mm -hmm. if they had just invited, if they had just kept one big house and all of That's them right. just, you know. Yeah. One big house. Probably, old. yeah. Instead of all these affairs, it could have just been a polyamorous relationship. It probably, it probably was. Probably. probably what it was. At but, Vic, but, Oh, Nikki, sure. man, she looked like any more though. I mean, the woman got some age on her. We all know that. She looked like she'd been road hard and put away wet. You know, <laughs> she is. She, I mean, and it's understandable because, good lord, how many soap opera marriages can you go through when you start out a stripper? Yeah, she's doing really well yeah. though. Doing really well. So, why don't you go ahead and minimize the chat and hit the hit the thumbs up to push the algorithm out? But I want to give a shout out to everybody here. So we have. Looking into my eyes is here, and Wesley, hi, and Jane, good morning, Christopher, hello, you made it over here, yeah, Christine, I'm here, hey, and Chrissy Marie, hey, and Nate Disney from over in the UK, hi, and, oh, Lord, it's still in General Hospital, Chrissy said. Who is Luke and Laura? Laura. Yeah. What happened to um, Luke? Did he die, or? Because they never die. Do you think... I was Liz, asking. Yeah, let me give a shout okay. out. Lizzie's here from say good morning, everyone. And thank you, Nate. And remember to hit the thumbs up, everybody's saying. Uh Latoya is here. Good morning. Amber is here. Hello. Morning, Edith. everybody. And so what were you gonna say about Luke and Laura? Well, I was just wondering, like, you know, I don't know what I was wondering. I, I mean, I, I I lost my whole train of thought now. But I mean, here, make oh, sure. Sorry. Oh, one thing I wanted to tell you is if anybody that's still hanging back there on the app of uh, TikTok, make sure you type something in that uh, chat there every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, maybe that'll keep it, uh, keep it from 
closing from, closing from lack of eye. activity, you know? Right, like TikTok, people can have TikTok live watching you sleep all night and it won't shut off apparently. Mm. But they seem to know when we say, come see us over on YouTube. <laughs> so we had talked about, you know, all the different soap operas and, and yeah. how, you know, so what I was saying was now there's a lot of gay people that are being put on soap operas now because it's, you know, like in the old days, and I had mentioned this on TikTok, in the old days, you didn't see people dating different races. And so when, um, oh, I can't even remember his name, when, when, uh, Oh, there was a black man that was a detective on Days of Our Lives. And they always, you could always tell when he was getting ready to start dating somebody because they would bring in a black woman. And all of a sudden, you know, him and her would start dating or whatever, you know. But nowadays, you know, they've got uh, interracial dating going on there, on there. And it's just a normal kind of thing. But it's not normal for people like us that are so used to watching it. And we're just like, Oh my God, uh -huh. look, he's dating a black girl. Or she did. I mean, we're just still kind of shocked by the whole system. We we love it. We love yeah. it because we love the fact that they're replicating our real lives. But it still gets a shock to us because we're just so used to the TV not, you know, showing it. So now all of a sudden, good, they got okay, some gay people. Read some here. So Luke is supposed to be dead. Victor killed him. Oh wow! Victor Cassidy didn't kill him. Well, these okay. are two different. These are two yeah. different soap operas. Are there okay. another Victor That's, and the other one too? Yeah, but yes. Okay, and Nate said this is my new channel because I can't get into my old account. Oh, okay. Since changing your phone, Liz says, "How true that was." Oh, when I watched Days with my grandma. Mm hmm. And what's yet? Did anybody remember the first gay character on a soap? Do you? No, no, no. Because I mean, there was as being a gay child watching TV, there was always, always suspecting that that person might be gay. And we always try to figure mm -hmm. out if they were gay in their real life or, right. you know, is that why that energy came through or whatever. And even now to this day, I will Google it. Yesterday we were watching Barbara oh, Stanley. we were watching, yes, yes. We are watching Big Valley. Big Valley, an old Western right. Big Valley. And Edie asked me, did you say that the mom knew with, with the light being? I said, yeah, Barbara Stanwyck. She was, she was right, so of course I had to Google it, Barbara mm -hmm. Stanwyck, because, I mean, she can, she, that woman can strut a shirt. She, you know, her shirts fit so nice, even though she yeah. wore them long dresses and stuff, but she looked good, you know? And and when I looked yeah. it up, it said that she was like the most out-closeted woman on on you know, you, well, Hollywood. whatever in Hollywood <laughs> or whatever, you know, and and so it was like they they talked about her having like a butch um, persona to her, but yet and still just an elegance, you know what I mean? And it, yeah. It's just nice reading about it, but we've always yeah. looked at different people on different shows and try to right. pick them out and figure out which one is and who right. is it. Because I remember growing up and watching TV and. Picking out certain female characters that would zero in on, oh, even, we knew even Christy, if they were kids. Remember Christy yeah. McCallick or whatever her name right. was. What's was her name? I Christy? can't remember. You all but know. Chris, her name, yeah, right? from from uh, Mrs. Mrs. What's her name? Different Strokes or mm -hmm. different? Um, no, no, no. That's that's a different show. Um, was it the girls' school? Yeah, the girls' school. You know that always kept us all intrigued. <laughs> anyway, you know for Christy for young lesbians, yes, for because okay. for young lesbians. They was at the girls' school, so that was like heaven. Right. Mm -hmm. We all wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be there. Mrs. Garrett, she made sure they all ate good and mm -hmm. their, their uniforms was clean, mm -hmm. you know, and they got to hang around. And what's yeah. her name? She rode Joe. She, yeah, right. Now her name yeah. was Joe. She rode a motorcycle, you know, it was, mm -hmm. she had lesbian written all over. Right. All over. Right. So did the, did the TV. The people who created these shows, did they know this? Did they do this on purpose because they couldn't do it out and loud and proud, but did they do it because they knew all the queer kids were watching these shows and we would know it? I don't know, but it really uh, makes me wonder. Did, how do you get a kid named Joe who wears a leather jacket and rides a motorcycle? <laughs> you know? but she did come out in, in mm -hmm. later life. Mm -hmm. And then there was what? Uh, uh, what's oh man, this makes me crazy. And I can't Margaret. remember the names of different actors. Um, um, the actor who played. She played Nell, and she played. This is this is uh 
Oh, this, oh, oh, the name will come to me later. It will come back to me. Because this was also somebody who was a child actor, and she was in the Partridge family, and she played this little girl who apparently had to have a crush on Danny, but she was gay as anything. And then when she grew up, yeah, she came out. Yeah, she is gay. I mean, the gay kid, I could look at her and know she didn't have a crush on Danny. You know, the kid did not have a crush on Danny. <clears throat> but that's all part of her acting. Yeah. Well, no, that was a storyline, so, and she's as lesbian as lesbian can be. What, um... Let's see. What does my head in this? Let me see. What does my head in? in? Oh, in is when they use straight actors to play gay characters when they could get perfectly good gay actors to play the part. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but I, I don't think they do too much of that now. Yeah, I, I think, think I think there's so many gay actors that that you know, yeah. if, if they're acting like they're straight, then they're really acting. So. Something that I really yes, Christy is McNichols. gay. That's right. Yeah. Nichols is gay. Yeah, Joe was my favorite. I know we all had crushes on her. You know, did it yeah. go out already? Huh. No, but I'm going to look up the name of this actress I'm thinking about. You know, no, it'll make me crazy until um, until we come up with it. So, what else? Yeah, so you know, when you're talking about a lot of gay actors that could play the gay characters, so it, you know, when Edie and I met. I was in the midst of, of producing Pride Theater oh, yeah, Festival. Jody. We're doing Pride. Yeah, Jodie Foster. That's exactly who I'm thinking about. Yeah. Jodie Foster. So I saw her as a child actress and I was a child. And mm, the we all right, in right, right, right in on Right. Oh, her. yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't she play in a um, movie with, uh, remember the, the young guy that had the real pretty blue eyes and they, um, uh, oh, the bridge, remember Jeff Bridges? No, like they jumped, <laughs> somebody jumped off the Tallahassee Bridge. Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahassee Bridge. <laughs> anyway, the guy that had a real pretty blue eyes and he had dark hair, didn't him and yeah. her play a couple on this show? And the whole time I kept thinking they are really cute, but. Both of them. I since looked up him to see. I can't remember what his name is right now. Somebody will type it in there. But he yeah. was handsome as heck. I don't know. Let's see. Queen Latifah plays a lot of straight roles. Oh, even right. though she's out. Yeah, but yeah. she's always, you can always tell. You know, it's always right there on the edge. You know, I think yeah. when she played that one role where they remember she was robbing the bank. That's mm -hmm. when she really went off the edge oh, and yeah. let it all out. Yeah. And what matter of fact, that was what was the name of that movie? Let it out or <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Remember the movie where Queen Latifah um played a bank robber and she had her braids and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I want to say Sandra. Set it here. off. That was the name yeah. of it. Set Sandra's it off. Here. Let it out. Margaret's Set it here. off. I know I didn't get around to calling out everybody's name who's here. Um, yeah, Shelton and Big Bang is gay and married, right? And and um, and the thing is, I mean, I'm I'm thinking about all these. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to say when when I was, when we were doing the Pride Theater Festival, we were doing one act play, and the whole thing was building bridges, you know, crossing bridges, right? So that we wanted queer queer actors to be able to play queer characters, which was nice, and you know, and be able to be out about it, you know, and the directors and everybody involved in the play. But we were building bridges. So there was, you know, when we would, uh, when people came into audition, we would ask them the questions, how do you feel about doing the same sex kiss on stage? Is this okay? And we had all these things, you know, the first year, it ran for like 10 years. The first year we had all these actors signed up to go and then they all dropped out, all the straight ones. And it was like, you know, their parents must have told them something like, you can't play a gay character, you know, you'll ruin your acting career before you even started. And by the 10th year, all these actors and straight actors were coming on saying, I want to play a gay character. I want to expand my horizons. I want to be able to act, you know? And right. it's like how things change over time. Right. It's amazing. So, but well, you know what? I, I've seen Jake Gyllenhaal in several different shows lately, and he plays such a straight role now that yeah. it's amazing that he pulled that, that his, it didn't affect his career and he played gay, gay. Uh -huh. Remember, I uh -huh. mean, you can't get more gay than um, yeah. what was that the name of that movie? I don't know. The yes, names are all this is you happening. Know the, one, over the one that makes you, you cry. Name. The one that makes you cry, where they're up on the mountain 
Oh, broke back mountain. Yeah. <laughs> with, with up on the mountain. Yeah, up on the you mountain. Like, you know. Up. Yeah, that's it. Wesley's on it. He types. All we have to do is say Wesley. What's it called? <laughs> you know. Wesley got us. See, it bro broke. Yeah. So mm -hmm. every time I see him on TV, all I can think is, he's one heck of an actor. <laughs> you know, because he really pulled it off, and mm -hmm. he, you know, I mean, they he did it really, really well. I mean that I mean that that's one of the movies where you like to fast forward to certain scenes. <laughs> uh, and, right. Okay. Anybody in here tell me if you ever watched Brokeback Mountain, that movie, have you fast forwarded to to the scenes or do you just sit there and watch the whole movie? I'm right on through. It's like, okay, I'm glad you guys are friends. You <laughs> got, you know, I'm glad you had a good time. Let's see. Hey Nate, I'm good. Hi. Oh, okay. It's good to see you guys. You never seen it? Stop it, Nate. Nate. Look it up. Go look at movie. Look yeah. it up. Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain. Mountain. Mm -hmm. Look it up. So Brokeback Mountain, it was actually a straight, I think it's a straight woman writer wrote a short story, Brokeback Mountain, and that's what they made this entire movie from. And then, quickly, these are my, I'm sorry, I'm a writer. These are the kind of things I look and that's think okay. about. That's okay. I can do this. This is good. And, but it's funny, but we had we didn't see it together, but we had apparently really different reactions to it. Yeah, then. I mm. looked at it as hot. Oh <laughs> my God, bring it on. She looked at it as hey. oh, well, you know, two guys who had to be closeted, you know, had who were in love with each other and had to be closeted. I watched the movie and it sunk in so slowly that it was just I'm watching and watching by the time the movie ended. I was sobbing my eyes out, but they didn't even know it crept into me like that. Not me. I was oh waiting on, God. oh, holy crap. It was like, <laughs> one more time. Break it down. Show me what you got. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I loved it. Oh, it is a movie. Yeah, and Tawanda's never seen it either. It is a good movie, and it won Best Picture. I didn't remember that. Wow. I watched from the beginning. Is it Sandra until the end? Each time I watched it because I watched with people who had never seen it. Oh, okay. So, so I mean, yeah. if you watched it, oh, Tawanya saying it's on Netflix now. Okay, okay. Well, then uh, we we you I know, can't watch it again. Uh, uh I can't. See, I don't. I, I, I don't get the emotional out of it at all. I feel yeah. sorry for them, but I'm happy for them that they get to hook up when they do get to hook up. Mm -hmm. Those were in the days yeah. they didn't even call it a hookup. And for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I won't talk about what happens then. You well, if you didn't it. see it by now, then no, you all know, what, gonna watch it, they know what we're talking about. Well, they know? do know we're talking about two guys who had, were in love with each other. Who had Look, she can't give you the whole details. No, no. I'm just well, saying. and then they know that, that they don't, mm -hmm. that they have themselves a nice time. Mm -hmm. You know, they have themselves a nice time. I'm yeah. happy for them. You know, oh come on, Judy, let's watch it together. Oh, oh, Tawanya is asking if it's on Netflix. Oh, so okay, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. We have the we have the DVD, but we don't have our DVD player hooked up. We need like a grandchild to come here and hook that up <laughs> so we can watch it again. Oh, my niece is here. Maybe she can come over and do it. For oh, us. yeah, and she could hook up the Wii for us too. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we could play. Uh, Nate's saying it's not on the UK Netflix. Yeah, well, Tawanya wasn't saying it is. She was asking if it is on Netflix. So well, we'll have to. I don't even know. It, it. It, you know, honestly, there's so many movies that are on YouTube too that right. a lot of times you can find right. them on YouTube, and and it's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, so let's see. If I were to write, if I were to write a soap opera, what would you like? Would like me to write about? What's the topic? <laughs> so what's the plot? Let oh. me know. Well, you know what Happen the plot would be for me. Hot, got to bring on the fire. You know, we got to have a little fun with this. You know, they get too serious, just too serious. I don't I've watch got, it if you want me to cry. I'm not going to sit there and cry through it. I've got to say, when we did the uh, theater festival, the Pride Theater Festival, I remember there was this one play where the director is a straight woman, and she picked her actors, and they were hot, and she knew how to play that. And so, you know, with Crossing Bridges, the gay and straight people can do plays together. They really can. She was, oh, my Well, gosh. I remember going to see one of the plays at Judy's uh, theater festival, and there was a young man sitting there. And the way he was sitting there, you could see straight up his shorts, and I could see, like, his mm. tentacles. So... <laughs> So I didn't know if if I was supposed to be able to see it. Was that all part of it? 
or or that was an accident because yeah. you know because I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. I I sat there. It was hard to focus on it, you know, because it was yeah. there. It was like it was there. You're there. It was there. I thought he meant for us to all see it. <laughs> I don't know because normally if you're an actor and you've got underwear, you've got certain underwear on purpose that you can't see anything. You know, they make underwear yeah, where there's short, no opening in front and all this stuff on purpose so that nothing shows. Wesley, so let me I tell you know. about it. He was he he had he was a young guy, he had short shorts on, short shorts, like short, 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 shorts. You know, them kind that have like a crotch about this wide, right? So when you got a crotch about this wide, that means that your parts gotta go somewhere on there, right? So his parts just was there, you know, and it was like I didn't know if I was supposed to look or was I supposed to look up in his eyes or like look away. <laughs> I didn't know. I should have said I should have stood up in the middle of it because you know it, mm -hmm. I should just stood up and said cut. Okay, everybody in the audience, are you all looking at his crotch or is this like just me? And then they would have, you know, everybody would have been like, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I said, does he want us to look or are we not supposed to? Mm -hmm. And that would have been his opportunity to sit, to sit there and say, oops, my bad, Miss Edie. Because <laughs> I know you didn't come here to see my bits. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was allowed to say, well, I'll make sure everybody sees me on stage. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what his face looked like. I could run into him right now at the door and I wouldn't see him. I'd probably have to say, let me see your shorts. I wouldn't know what he looked like. I was distracted, you know? <laughs> let, me, let me read some comments on here. <laughs> okay, they were asking still about Brokeback Mountain. Okay, it's they, on YouTube for $3.99. Okay. Apple TV and Prime Video, all $3.99. So they're they charging for this show because it was so good. It's a classic. If you want to watch it, you got to pay for it's it. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Did he they, knew what he was doing. Somebody saying, "Does your uh, laptop here show DVDs? Can we watch DVDs on it? No. Maybe your other one? Oh, mm -mm. oh! Remember the old laptop where you could put a D? The, see, we people are saying, "What's a DVD?" <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> it's the big stack of things we have over there underneath the aquarium where the dying fish are. Yeah, what we saying? We're, Will I get a pair? And somebody else saying, yes, I bet he did that for a reaction from you. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Once you see, you can't unsee. <laughs> no, I can still see it. You know, it's just like there. It's a little baby window. Don't worry. I, it wasn't like nothing. It was like, oh, my God. It was just kind of like. What yeah. is that? Same, but really asking what the DVD. No, they all know what a DVD is. That's good. That's good. That's because we got grown folks here. Grown <laughs> folks that know about Luke and Laura, Days of Our Lives, Young and the Restless, and, and, and DVD. DVD. <laughs> that's right. I want to thank everybody that's watching us, you know, that's joined us and coming on. If you're not subscribed and not following us, please make sure you hit the button along with hit the bell so that we'll get a you'll get a notification each and every time we put up a video. I am just impressed and surprised and amazed at all the people that watched yesterday in order to find out about my crush on Dawn Staley. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Dawn. Yeah. Whew, good Lord. Tonight's thunder is ash just after what's the VCR. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's something in, in your in your dad's you know bedroom up on the on the dresser. <laughs> I missed it. Stupid. Hey, well, oh, yes, well, you, you can yeah, you can still watch yeah, it. You can watch it recorded. again, it's recorded. Yeah. yeah, Edie's question out on Don Staley. Don Staley, Edie sent you a message. I sure did. He sent you a message. Come look at the I message. I followed you on back. Facebook, and I sent you a message because I want you to know. I think you are about the best basketball coach that could ever walk the planet. Matter of fact, you are the best basketball coach that ever walked the planet. And I love your fashion sense. Yeah, You know, girl, you know how to dress. Wait, is it? Is this too much for you, Dawn? How you doing, Dawn? <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway, what else do we want to talk about here? We've covered a lot of stuff. Hey, what have you got some questions or comments on here? What do you want us to talk about? Oh, did you ever watch The Heat of the Night? Yes. Yes, I have watched The Heat of the Night. I don't get much out of it, but let's see. I watch The Young and the Restless every, every day. day. Still, you still you watch it every day. day. So Nikki's on that, right? Nikki and that's and, the one with Nikki and, and Victor. Victor. Yeah. And and Jack Abbott. Jack Abbott. Yeah. You know, I would hate it. Oh my God. I used to want to dress like this is where I was like caught up in it. Bo Brady. Does anybody remember Bo Brady? I cut all the sleeves out of my t-shirts. And I wore <laughs> I wore my t-shirt. I mean, I was a married woman with kids, and I was walking around thinking I was Bo Brady. I thought I was hot. <laughs> you are hot. Thank you. I'm sure you were hot then too. I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're hot too. Uh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> so I should burn my finger. Stop burning my finger. Ow. Oh, and it's the, I, I still watch General Hospital every day. <laughs> is Nikki is drunk Nikki again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Nikki tried to sober up. But you know what, Nikki? Last time I seen it, Nikki kept telling Victor that like, I think it was somewhere like if she didn't get out of there, she was getting ready to get drunk. So he was like, you know, come on, let's go home, you know, because he, he he wanted to, her to get out of there, wherever it was. But, you know, um, I remember when Mrs. Chancellor had a real bad drinking problem on there, too, mm -hmm. you know. So was wonder why they don't, in the restaurant? Yeah, yeah, I think. So that's why they don't wonder why they don't have no meth heads or nothing like that, because reality is mm -hmm. people are doing that stuff now, too, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. between the meth and but this and was heroin the and, bourbon world and it was all about being drunk. Yeah, but this is real right right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And like look, the reality is there's people on meth and heroin that live yeah. in nice suburban lives. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they will mess their stuff up in a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, it's beyond the stuff where everybody got a little bit of that crack cocaine and stole their mama's TV. Uh -huh. This is like, you know. Let's see. I love Bo and Hope, and you're Ooh. both hot young ladies. Oh my oh, God, yeah. I did love Bo and Hope too. And do you remember when they changed the Hope, um, and made her a different Hope? And that Hope, they looked a lot alike. It was like, how you find two Hopes that look that much alike? But the the second Hope was nowhere near as pretty as the first Hope. No. Yeah. So now, and what I'm looking at, what I'm thinking about, because you said now there's a lot of gay characters on these soap operas. Well, like all the couples that were listing. They're all the straight couples. But so those the gay from, couples must be the kind still be kind of fringe yeah, characters. Yeah, because I don't watch it. Mm -hmm. I can't make myself sit through that. So <laughs> you know, so I don't know any of the new ones. Do anybody know any of the gay couples on any of the soap operas right now? And I love Chris Christian Alfonso as Hope. Ah, okay. Yeah, also prescription drugs. Right, yeah, well, right. I would that's, think on a soap opera there would be addiction to prescription drugs. That right, that's show. what, you know, yeah. the, you, you, yes. I, I still have a crush on, on, is it Hugh Jack? Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Let me ask yeah. my grandmother. <laughs> ask your grandma <laughs> if there's some gay gay couples on the soap operas. Yeah, that that's good. Let's see. Mm. Oh, Okay. And then most people call John Stamos Uncle Jesse. I just call him Blackie. Why? I don't understand. Maybe I'm not getting it. I don't know any of these. Let's say, yes, yeah, she. You know, John Stamos has started drinking again. Christine. Okay, that's Nicole. Oh. And Christina and Blaze on General Hospital. That's the lesbian couple. Is Blaze oh. the lesbian name? Ooh, it does sound like a hot lesbian name. Yeah, huh? no, Who's no. that at the door? Would, That's Blaze. Blaze. She's Blaze, coming over yeah. to see us this afternoon. We, <laughs> who we invited to the picnic? Oh, we invited Blaze and <laughs> and Christina. You know, she you know she's always tagging behind Blaze. So, and do Christina and Blaze are they like a married lesbian couple with children, or are they like hot lesbians cheating on each other? Well, they don't have to be cheating on; they can just be hot. Well, everybody in soap opera cheat on each oh, other. Oh, this is true. This is true. And I'm asking because now I've got... Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah. they're on General Hospital. Blaze is a singer and heart. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Well, I was asking because when they started putting lesbian, besides the L word, but the L word was already on cable, but on regular network, I think when they started putting lesbians, maybe, 
I don't know if it's regular network or what, but a big thing with, they would put light being on, they'd be light being coupled and they'd be momed and they'd be, you know, holistic. And then I had some other friends that, well, you know, not all light beings have, are married and have children. Why don't they just put like light being, hot light being, having affairs, having sex, you know, real life stuff. I don't because know again, that. if women were going to be on TV, they had to be mothers and pure. I don't know. And so I'm wondering. Okay. okay Mariah and Tessia. Okay. Mariah oh. and Tessia. Oh, see, Tessa. I knew there was some. I knew that they had like stepped it up. Graham's to the rescue. Thank you, Graham. Oh, hey. And let's see. Christina is. I found Brokeback Mountain. Sunny Corsa's daughter and Blaze is a singer, and they are just basically starting out. Okay, so they're not cheating on each other yet because they just got hot <laughs> for each other now. I she see. said that they just adopted a girl. Oh, okay. Are you, are you asking Gwen? Oh, you asking Gwen? Nice all the stuff? She on it. Uh, on Tawana's thing, back to Brokeback Mountain, that it is on YouTube. You have to pay for it. And. The Night Rider, I had a crush on Michael. Yeah, a lot of people had a crush on him, too. So we got to, let's see, let me read some more here. The Survive Anything that she's been watching soap operas since they started. This is Grams, right? Did Grams start one? Okay, well, how old is your Grams? Because I'm trying to think, if your Grams are as old as my Grams, then she started watching them on radio. So let's see, I'm trying to look again. So Blaze is Hot and a singer. She's 82. Okay, so 82, then she started watching on TV, right? It wasn't on radio yet. I mean, it was, radio was over. Okay, Christina is carrying <laughs> her sister's baby. Okay, so we got some messy stuff in here. <laughs> it's some messy stuff. Yeah, Christina is carrying her, her sister's baby. That's nice. Why? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need to wrap up again. Oh, yeah, I wonder why. Why she carrying her sister's baby. Boy, this is soap opera day on morning coffee with the rainbow granny. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's see. So John Stamis was on General Hospital as Blackie. Okay. And so this is, this is the grandma thing to do. <laughs> my poor honey here okay it's like a so sign of strange kind of thing guys i'm okay it's just it's it gets to be a mess so christina okay which so we still want to know chrissy why is christina carrying her sister's baby inquiring minds want to know so we got to start looking up mariah and tessa christina and blaze Okay, for some reason, Christina's sister Molly cannot conceive. They went through a surrogate and she lost the baby. <coughs> and I have sinus problems every day. Oh, God, it's <laughs> awful. And it'll clear up and I'll be good for a good half hour or two and then bam, start it all over again. So I want you to realize that I'm not catchy. I don't have nothing bad. It's just that it just starts that drainage is awful. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, what yeah. else are we talking about? Let's deal with the soap opera and the couples. I wanted to, oh, so Christina stepped up and now is in a new relationship with Blaze. Uh, okay, so let me wind this up on the fact that I want to thank all of you because uh, there's a lot of people that don't watch soap operas at all. And we totally, totally get it. It's amazing that um, so many of them have hung in there so many oh, years. Oh, yeah. Like, how many years has... Well, has, I mean, to start on... Is Guiding Light still on? Because that's one I know started on radio. You know? I mean, just to start yeah. that long ago, and people keep hanging in there. Mm -hmm. um, I think so many of the shows that they're uh, streaming now on, like, Netflix and stuff, they, they, they're kind of, like, almost like a soap opera. Right. You know, so they don't have the, the following like they used to. You know, but we we had talked about, you know, how our grandparents and how me and my friends, when we had little children, how we all got together and we'd drink beers while the kids played in the other room 
and we'd watch, you know, Days of Our or Young and the Restless and Days uh-huh. of Our Lives. Uh-huh. That's when I thought I was Bo Brady. Right. Now, the Wesley saying, I bet when that baby comes, the lesbian couple are going to want to keep it. Oh, you yeah. Know, that's that, that's got to be drama. Otherwise, what's the point? Right. And we can't turn away a kitten or, <laughs> or a puppy or a baby. You know, good Lord. Could right now, if I thinking. opened the door and I looked out on the porch and there was a kitten out there, guess what we're having today? Edie's going to learn how to scoop the kitty litter. You watch and see. <laughs> it's so bad that if Edie was away or sick and she couldn't feed the worms in her worm garden, you know I'd be going down there dropping the lettuce on there. Would you? Oh, I couldn't let I, I responsibility. That's all you have to do, they're, living, they're living things. You can't just abandon them. The living thing, but really don't, don't, don't ask me to. I'm going to go down and check on him now. <laughs> I got to go down. You know, I did start a worm farm. And so we're going to, we're going to grow some worms around here. <clears throat> How do you tag people on YouTube live chat? I, I have I no know. idea. You know, we have a hard time trying to figure this YouTube out too. We're trying yeah, to. Because the know, live grow. chat don't stay. We're like once it gets recorded. All the live chat comments are gone, as right. far as I know, when you can write new comments in there. Right. That's why when um, people watch it later on and they go on there and type, I can see all that stuff. But all this that Jim's are typing right now, you ones, you hear that, you ones? That's my Pittsburghese. Then we, if you okay. find sinus issues are worse in the morning, this is all day, all night. Chew. Chew. What the heck is that? Gavis gone before bed because stomach acid drains into sinuses at night. It works. Yeah. How is Apollo and Bill? They're fine. They're not even hanging out with us this morning. They had their breakfast. and Oh, no, Apollo's behind us sleeping. Apollo, Apollo likes to lie down here. beside me when I'm doing dishes. Come so here. when I turn around, I trip over him. He's like really good about that. Apollo, come here, baby. He's just laying down here sleeping. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I used to make the worms kiss. How do you do that? Oh, my God. You was doing worm porn. How do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. I. I think it's kind of like the itsy bitsy spider went up the water. <laughs> down came the rain. Yeah, let's see. Yes, lesbian on the young and restless is Sharon's daughter, Nick ex-wife oh i know nick so and isn't that funny because i remember when he was born worm porn <laughs> <laughs> maybe next week we'll show you some worm porn <laughs> yeah but i think we should wind it up and thank you guys i'm getting ready to start again yeah okay so we'll see y'all next weekend have a great week everybody bye bye